Charlie Sheen may talk about winning a lot these days, but here at the fairgrounds, Rosie Naprovnik actually follows through. To win any race, that's why we do it, because it never gets boring, it never gets old, winning always feels good, and uh, we, get to, we get to compete for a win every day. That's awesome. Growing up on a farm in New Jersey, it was no surprise that Anna Rose Naprovnik got into horse racing at an early age. While her classmates were getting ready for the prom, Rosie was busy riding races. I actually left high school early to start riding and I don't ever regret that. It was something I didn't really want to do, but uh, once I got going, I, there was no stopping me, so <laughs> I was perfectly okay with missing the prom. Success came early and often. Riding titles at Pimlico and Laurel Park, followed by a successful stint at Delaware Park. Then the decision was made. Rosie would spend the winter in New Orleans, and the fairgrounds had a new star. She's uh, very determined, and she has a really good sense of pace. Uh, she doesn't have any fear of anything. I mean, she's came through some small, small openings in the beginning of the meet, and I think that helped her when trainers noticed that and started riding her on a bunch of live horses. I think you're something that nobody should have to ride with, and if you do, you're not going to be as, as good or uh, as confident and probably unsafe, too, so definitely no fear. And it showed right from the beginning, winning not only on the track, but also the respect of the horseman as a female and also as an outsider. They were very accepting to, to try and something new, new face. They were a little tough when I first got here because no one likes someone new on the, on the stomping ground. But, um, but they've been great. I'm friends with all of them now, and, uh, and I, I just really enjoy myself. You guys seem to have accepted her right off the bat, despite she's a newcomer, she's a woman, but uh, she's had a lot of success. Yeah, she has. And, uh, she, she's a good rider. I mean, she places her horses very well, and, you know, she gets a lot out of her horses. and. She just had a phenomenal meet. Seemed like a lot of her things have gone her way, and which was able to make her leader. But don't take none away. She's a very good rider, also. And now she's on the cusp of history. Tomorrow, when the meet ends, they'll hand Rosie the jockey title. It will mark the first time ever that it will go to a female, even to the only jockey in fairgrounds history to earn seven riding titles at the Crescent City Oval. That's impressive. That's a big feat because we've had some, we have some great riders here, I think, and uh, like Jamie and Corey and James Graham, and uh, for her to come in her first year and, and be as dominant as she was, that's pretty special. Uh, I got a lot of respect for her as a, not only a jockey, but as a person. Yeah, I mean, that's super exciting. It's, it's something that absolutely I never expected, and um, I was coming down here hoping to win 30 races, so, <laughs> um, you know, I couldn't be more happy about that, and it's just such an honor. I love the racing down here. I love the people down here, and I love the city, so I'll be definitely be back next year. I got engaged like three weeks ago, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm about a couple days away from buying a house down here, and, um, you know, careers absolutely couldn't be better right now, so we're doing great all around. And she would be doing better if she finishes strong. Excited about riding fine for Al Stahl Jr. in Saturday's fourth race and getting her first shot at the Louisiana Derby on Pants on Fire for Kelly Green. It's going to be a tough race, a big field. But um, yeah, I'm really excited just to be in one of the prep races that are so close because I, I really haven't gotten that experience much before. 